My name is Alexander Mamut. I'm a businessman. I'm doing various uh, businesses. I'm working as my business is a private equity. I'm doing direct investments into Russian companies in different sectors, from mining and commercial real estate to internet and uh, retail. My background, I'm a lawyer and I used to work in the in, in banking sector. But last 12 years I've worked as a private equity fund. For me, it's, uh, architecture is uh, quite um, efficient and important tool to, 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 to change landscape, to change uh, environment, to change uh, life and, and, and future. And uh, I like architecture because this is the nice and interesting and exciting way to participate in these changes. So, for me, not being an architect, it's a challenging and a very entertaining thing. I have a lot of fun of being a part of a Stroke Institute as, a, as a, our own vehicle, which, um, which has this mission. is to work out an agenda of, uh, of uh, Russian future. And uh, architects, urbanists, uh, philosophers, they have to participate in, in working out this agenda. Because we didn't pay a lot of, did, didn't pay enough attention and uh, enough, didn't contribute a lot in, into understanding what what should be our future, what should be the mission of the country, what should be the mission of Russian cities, Russian megapolises. So an architect should participate very intensively in this process, in discussing, in working out, in making design of a future. During last years, Russia originated a lot of uh, urbanist projects. We, uh, let's say, we m more than doubled the territory of Moscow uh, megapolis. We are uh, trying to, to carry out successful Olympic Games in 2014. We are preparing now to the ch soccer championship in 2018 uh, and a few other big uh, a huge megapolises development, but we don't have urbanists here, because because Russian urbanism, I, th I think, as a as it as it developed, let's say in in in, in Latin America or in, in in Asia, simply doesn't exist. And uh, being focused on urbanism as a as a, I think. Uh, 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 this is Strelka's answer to, to, to global challenge, because in order to to do it on a sufficient level, we we we, we, we have to educate people who could uh, who could participate and develop big projects. Private sector alone without state authorities, without uh, mayor's office, can't do a lot because of regulation, because of <coughs> different permissions, different kind of permissions which should be obtained before you start any, any, any development here. But um, for, for, for private sector, private companies or for, for business people, it's very important to to, to be in discussion with authorities about mission and future and projects, to be in discussion, to be in a dialogue. D dialogue is absolutely crucial thing. If, if, you, if you don't express your initiative, your views, your, your concepts, you leave it only with authorities. You know? 
<coughs> sometimes it uh, it could be a sort of a catastrophe like we we had here for 20 years with ex mayor of Moscow who was uh, badly educated uh, with a very very bad taste um, he was I would say it, anti-cultural person. He didn't understand mission of Moscow in, in, in the sense I just described. He was pro-commercial, pro-business, uh, and no dialogue between private sector, between uh, arch architects, between intellectuals, between artists, between those who, are, who, who were very keen to develop <coughs> the cultural part of, uh, of, um, of a city life. Internet, you know, it's uh, probably from, from certain point of view, this is equivalent of, a, of our time. Our time is a time of internet. It's when you are, the, the, the difference between, uh, between these internet era and uh, recent past is that everything is interactive. You are switched on. You are always online. You are always connected, even sometimes over-connected. Too much of connectivity. So yeah, it's sort of a syndrome of over-connectivity. But this is a symbol of, 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 uh, of our time. Everybody online. It means that you can use this in also for purposes which I just talked. So if, if we need discussion about future, this discussion is very easy to, to, to promote and to, to do in the internet, if, because this is a so-called sort of a public space where you can express yourself, you could be heard, you could be seen, uh, you could be, you know, could became famous with a good idea quickly. And it's fast, it's cheap, it's, uh, it's achievable for, for everybody, everywhere. It means that this is an extremely important tool for implementing the strategy, if there is a strategy. So, saying, if, 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 if you have a strategy which, which, which worked out with architects, intellectuals, uh, other people. It, should, it could be distributed and it could be uh, announced through internet sources. At the moment we've chosen him and we've made proposal to him to work as our uh, chief of educational program was and he is still probably the most influential theorist of architecture in the world. Who, his contribution is enormous, and, uh, and for us was big one. And uh, we were lucky enough; he agreed, and uh, so he established the way of uh, teaching, the way of uh, building educational programs for for the future of Australia. So I'm happy and proud that uh, we had these three years with him. He's a great guy.